A signal generator can be a great tool for confirming you're getting the data scaling and frequency response you expect from your data acquisition system. Today, we're going to go into the details of how you make those connections. I'm Mike Beckage, one of the founders of DTS, and today I have information that will be helpful if you ever want to check your data acquisition system by connecting a signal generator or other signal source. Let's take a typical signal generator that has a floating signal output. The most important thing to remember is that we must reference the output of the signal generator to the data acquisition system properly. We do that by turning on the half bridge switch, turning on half bridge mode in the control software, and that automatically places a 2.5 volt reference on the plus signal input. We then connect the moving signal from the signal generator to the minus signal input and keep the output at or below plus and minus 2.5 volts. If you're working with a signal generator that has a grounded output, and this also applies to any other signal source that has a ground referenced output, you need to make your connections a little differently. In this case, we want to connect the ground of the signal generator to the ground of the DAS. We can do that either through the shield or the minus excitation connection shown here. We connect the moving signal to only the minus signal input. We again use half bridge mode in the software. And then when we set up the signal generator for our signal output up to plus and minus 2.5 volts, we add an additional 2.5 volts offset to the signal so that all of the signals stay within the zero to five volt common mode range. If you need to connect a signal generator or really any signal source that's outside of the plus and minus 2.5 volt input range of the DAS, then the easiest way to do that is to use a range expander. The range expander has an attenuator in the connector and it will compress much larger signals to fit the normal common mode range of the DAS. It's very easy to connect you have a two-wire differential input, in this case for signals up to plus and minus 20 volts, but we offer solutions up to plus and minus 1,000 volts. Using a signal generator to confirm you're getting the data you expect is easy. You just need to remember that you need to keep all signals within the common mode range of the data acquisition system. We hope this information has been helpful. You'll find this and lots of other information on the DTS Help Center. Happy testing!